In the 1780s, one of human history's most devastating volcanic eruptions would eventually cause the French Revolution and be subsequently loosely linked to the wars and conflicts that occurred thereafter. This might sound like a bold claim, but while the French Revolution had many causes, it is generally thought that the worsening of climactic conditions and famine caused by the effects of a distant volcanic eruption in Iceland pushed just enough people over the edge to trigger a revolution. After all, only 633 people stormed the Bastille in 1789, and it is truly possible that if just a few less people were not incredibly angry at their current living standards and overall situation, that a revolution may have never succeeded, let alone occur at all. This is the sequence of events which I will be supporting my prior assertion with. But first, let us discuss the details of the highly destructive eruption. On June 8, 1783, the largest partially effusive eruption to occur on Earth in the last millennia began as a fissure a whopping 7 kilometers or 4.3 mile in length opened up between the summits of Iceland's Grimsvon and Katla volcanoes. From this fissure soon emerged a voluminous flood of lava with molten rock during the first 24 hours erupting at an incredibly high rate of as much as 15,000 cubic meters per second. For a comparison, this absurdly high figure is almost equivalent to the combined outflow of the Ohio and Columbia rivers. Or, for a more recent comparison, this is equivalent to 1,574 simultaneous eruptions of the Fagradalsviak volcano during 2021. This sheer amount of lava quickly filled in deep glacially carved valleys in the landscape and within 96 hours had already covered 88.5 square kilometers. However, this eruption also was fairly explosive, even creating several hundred foot wide craters during powerful explosions with sustained ash emissions reaching a height of 12 kilometers or 39,400 feet. This height is important as it represents the minimum height of the stratosphere layer of the atmosphere, meaning that a significant portion of the eruption's released sulfur dioxide gas made its way around the planet with the highest concentrations in the northern hemisphere. Only four days into the eruption, approximately 18 and a half times as much sulfur dioxide was emitted as during the entirety of the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens, which on its own caused some temporary global cooling to occur. The Lackey eruption would end up continuing for eight months, causing what would eventually become a 29 kilometer long fissure to further expand in a northeastward direction. By the time the eruption had ended, 122 million tons of sulfur dioxide had been emitted, which is 2 million more than the 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora that caused a volcanic winter so severe the following year was known as the year without a summer. In total, 14.7 cubic kilometers of lava was erupted, which covered 565 square kilometers in molten rock. Another way of putting this is enough lava erupted to completely cover Paris in 140 meters or 459 feet thick of material. However, the sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere formed sulfuric acid which then formed a haze around the planet. This caused rainfall to drop by about 13% in France and up to 70% elsewhere occurring alongside a drop in temperatures of about 3 degrees Celsius. Due to the decreased rainfall and the contamination of 9 million tons of fluorine the lackey eruption produced, large swaths of crops were ruined and livestock died. While this primarily occurred in Iceland, it also affected parts of what are now the United Kingdom, Ireland, and even France. This triggered a particularly devastating famine in 1785 which caused such a rise in food prices that the vast majority of France's population at the time now spent half of their income on enough green to survive. However, while the effects of the atmospheric sulfuric acid largely dissipated by the end of 1787, the significant worldwide temperature fluctuations actually caused the eastern Pacific Ocean, notably west of Ecuador, to rise in temperature. The temperature rise ended up triggering a subsequent El Nino, triggering a second famine in 1788 which was exacerbated by a severe hailstorm caused by the developing El Nino pattern. This caused the average person in France to spend upwards of 90% of their income on green, eventually triggering enough anger at the existing system of government that it generated the French Revolution. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I would also like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.